Hello everyone, this is Jatin Gatyal and in this video, we'll be uh, getting started with Python. So uh, let's first talk about uh, what exactly are programming languages. So programming language is a way, it is a medium in which uh, the programmers or uh, developers we interact with or we basically commands the computer to do certain tasks for us. So in a very simple way, what we can do is to instruct the computer, what we can do is we can use the mouse clicks, we can use the keyboard, but that is a very high level view of how we interact with the computer. But to get to the depths of it, to get to the core uh, functionalities of a computer, what we may need is a common programming language where we can exactly instruct the computer what it needs to do. So uh, in a very normal sense, uh, when two person interacts, we use uh, certain languages like that uh, both the person understand we may use Hindi but in the world of computer science the only language uh, that computer understands is binary so for computer everything in this world is just a zero or a one so it uses this combination of zeros and one just like we use the combination of A to Z in English uh, computer science uses this combination of zero and one to communicate with others so uh, as a developer, what we can do is we can simply write a, a zero one source code. We can have a source code like this, which may also run in uh, run on the system. But uh, writing such kind of a uh, program is really very difficult and it becomes complex exponentially. What we have is we have some uh, high level languages and uh, what are high level languages? High level languages have uh, the syntax or they have the constructs in such a way that it is easier for the programmer to write it, to uh, write complex algorithms, to write complex logic into it. So for uh, some examples of high level languages are C++ and Python. So uh, obviously C++ is more close to uh, the hardware that as compared to Python, which means uh, C++ can access uh, uh, memory and all of the th all of those things directly, whereas Python can't. But uh, these are high level languages, and uh, when while we are writing these languages, we come across certain keywords like if, for, else, and these directly come from the uh, from English. So we are very much comfortable with speaking English, and uh, thus we are comfortable writing these uh, constructs. So. Uh, there are a lot of type of languages that exist and uh, there should be a way via which these symbols are then translated to zeros and ones again so that our computer can understand. So what happens is we as developers or we as programmers, we write the source code, we use uh, some tools uh, tool for example GCC which converts this uh, source code into zeros and ones and this co source code is easily understandable by the and then computers uh, runs all the instructions that we have programmed. So uh, keeping the uh, compilation and conversion process in mind we have two types of programming languages that exist. First type of programming languages uh, are uh, interpreted language and others are compiled language. So a very basic difference between a interpreted and compiled language is uh, in case of compiled language what we have is we have a uh, source code. Source code is the ba basically all the English words that we have written as a developer. Uh, in a form of a basic uh, simple text file, let's say in our case CPP, then we provide this file to a uh, compiler, call it a compiler. What compiler does is, compiler uh, reads this file and it converts it into a executable. So in the end, we'll be having a executable file like uh, .exe 
and this exe file contains zeros and ones which is directly understandable by the computer and it executes all the instructions inside this exe file but uh, in the case of interpreted language just like python so python uh, here, uh, is a interpreted language and in the case of python what happens is our source code that we have written is given to an interpreter so there is an interpreter involved in this process what this interpreter does is it reads a single line at a time and it converts that line into an object code and this object code at that moment of time is directly ran on the computer so in uh, so interpretation of any language happens line by line so every line that i input on a uh, in my python source code is again converted into object code and then again ran on the system so every line acts independently of the other part of the source code whereas in the case of uh, c++ or any compiled language if any line uh, contains some error the rest of the source code won't even compile but in the case of python let's say uh, our third or this line contains some error the, uh, even then the first two lines will be executing so the interpretation happens line by line while in the case of compiled languages uh, the source code is first converted into an uh, executable in windows these executables have extension .exe and uh, in uh, linux and unix they have an executable flag so this is a very basic difference between interpreted and compiled languages so as we have discussed python is a uh, compiled uh, interpreted language and what happens is when we have a, a dot py file we run it inside a python virtual machine have uh, something called as python virtual machine and what it does is it interacts with the computer so our computer directly interacts with the python virtual machine this python virtual machine is in uh, is written in it is an interesting fact it is written in c language this python virtual machine is written in c language and what it does is it expects a dot py file it reads the dot py file line by line and executes those instructions on the system so every line in dot py file is read it is converted into the object code and that object code is directly ran on the system so this is the very basics of how python works and in the next video we'll be learning uh, what exactly is the python virtual machine that i'm talking about and how can we execute our own python source code thank you guys